Hi everyone, today we're going to spend a few minutes learning about forces. For this presentation you should be able to diagram a force and find the resulting force or net force that results from two or more interacting forces. Here are some basics about forces. You can think of a force as a push or pull. Forces are described by their magnitude or strength and their direction. Forces are typically measured in newtons. It's important that you remember a newton is the same as a kilogram meter per second squared. You will use this when we talk about Newton's second law of motion coming up. Forces are constantly at work on us and everything around us. We use forces to get things done. Without forces, nothing could move or stand still. Some forces are very common in many situations. Friction is one of these common forces. It works against the forward motion of objects. This particular type of friction is called sliding friction, and it's working against this girl on the slip and slide. Gravity is another force that is always working on everything in the universe. It is a force of attraction. This guy is, is being attracted to the Earth by the force of gravity. He is also attracting the Earth. We'll talk about that more in a future lesson. Most objects have many forces acting on them at one time. All of the forces are added if they are going in the same direction and subtracted if they are going in opposite direction. The result is called a net force. In the case of a rocket, it will go up if the thrust force is greater than the weight force. The net force will be in an upward direction. Forces acting in opposite directions have opposite signs. It doesn't really matter which direction you make negative. If you add all the forces acting on an object together, the result is a net force. The net force is in the direction of the stronger force. Net forces can cause objects to move in the direction of the net force. In this example, the book will move to the left with the force of two newtons because there is a stronger force moving to the left. We can also say that these forces are unbalanced because they have a net force. Any movement of an object is the result of unbalanced forces. There is no net force in the book in this example, so the book will not move. We can say that these forces are balanced because there is no net force. Any object not in motion has balanced forces acting on it. What is the net force acting on this car? Because these forces are going the same direction, they are both positive. They can be added together to get a net force of 20 newtons. This car would move to the right. When drawing force vectors, try to make the length of the line relative to the magnitude of the force. Notice how the 20 newton line is twice as long as the 10 newton line. What is the net force acting on this car? Because the forces are acting in opposite directions, we need to subtract them. The result of the subtraction is 5 newtons. The stronger force is going to the right, so the net force also goes to the right. This car would move to the right. What is the net force on this car? Because the force, forces are in opposite directions, they must be subtracted. The result is no net force. This car will stay put.
Now it's your turn to practice drawing forces. Use the pictures at your table. Draw as many forces as you can identify that would result in the motion in the picture. Check out this picture as an example. Now it's your turn. The forward motion of the skateboard is the result of a big push forward. There is a small force of friction working against it. Gravity pulling down and the road pushing up are balanced forces, so the skateboard doesn't move up or down. Go ahead and give it a shot. Good luck.